set your alarms, 3 yeah. o'clock, 3 a.m. Yeah. On deck, please. Yeah. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Just <laughs> go. It's 3 o'clock, go. See ya. See ya. So tired, <laughs> I'm Barry. I'm Ansha. This is the continuing journey of Sailing ABC. Here we go. Are you okay? What are you doing here? Are you okay? Oh, sweetie Tweety. But it must be somebody's pet, eh? It must be, yeah. Hello. Oh, oh no. Good morning from Didim in Turkey and this is the uh, third Tuesday morning we're spending in Didim and you might think wow it must be a fascinating place well it is and there's lots to see and do and it's a big tourist town and I'll get into that when I explain a bit more we arrived here on Tuesday the 12th of July and uh, we parked in the, the big bay and uh, it was a bit too loud so we moved into the middle bay and it was okay. The playground at night was a bit loud with people screaming in, in excitement. We stayed there and then on the Friday of that first week uh, the Coast Guard came and visited all the little boats and basically just checking up on papers and we handed him our paperwork and he said oh it looks like your transit log has expired and we were like oh my god didn't realize that. Luckily, when we entered Turkey this time around, we entered at Didim, so Attila, the agent here, has all of our details on file. And we said, look, we'll go see Attila tomorrow, uh, Saturday morning, and we'll get a new one issued. Sorry, we didn't realize. And the Coast Guard said, okay, that's fine, carry on. You might have a few problems with the Bayram holiday. Bayram holiday is a huge holiday across the Muslim world, and uh, everything just shut down. All administration offices shut. Went in to see Attila on a Saturday, he said, well, no, your transit log hasn't expired. It doesn't expire until next Friday. Whew. Okay, cool. Can you issue me a new one? Yes, I can. Where's your insurance documents? Ah, well, uh, UK insurance expired, and we are in the process of getting new Turkish insurance issued. Uh, but unfortunately, that's not going to happen now because Bayram. So long story short, uh, absolutely nothing happened. And while we sit throughout the week of Bayram, so that was... Uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then yesterday, Monday, we got our insurance documents through, thankfully. Passed those on to Attila, but it was late yesterday, so I don't know whether he's actually done anything to process them. I've got to go into his office here at the marina at nine o'clock when, when he opens, see what the situation with that is. If we get the Turkish transit log issued today, then at three o'clock tomorrow morning, which is Wednesday morning, we will be upping anchor and making a seven hour run up north to Kushidasa Marina, which is part of the Seto Marina chain. The reason why we're leaving at three o'clock in the morning is because uh, it's I don't know, maybe 7.30 right now and the wind is already up and it's coming from the north and we don't want to be battling into that. Uh, so the wind at three o'clock in the morning is at its lowest possible so we can actually get north before the wind gets out of bed. Hopefully. I'll update you as soon as I know more about the transit log and our definite leaving time and our definite approval to arrive into Kushidasa Marina. Boat life, eh? <laughs> oh look, you're alright. See, I have to give up to a bad hair day on a day like this. It's so windy. <laughs> Okay, it's four o'clock now on Tuesday afternoon. Things we've accomplished today. Uh, printed out the insurance documents, all good Turkish and English versions. I paid for the uh, insurance, that's all done. Paid for the brand new transit log, and that's been issued to us. Uh, we also had to pay a teeny weeny little fine um, because there was a 
um, a not, a not a continuous date from one transit log finishing to the other one starting by two days, three yeah, days. Yeah, and that was because that of Byron, because of the holidays. Yeah. And so the teeny, leeny, teeny weeny little fine was uh, 10 euros and 90 cents. Can't complain. So not a big fine, but no. you know, that's, that's, that's the way the cookie yeah. crumbles. <laughs> Just had word from uh, Kushidasa Marina, which is part of the Seto Marina group. Uh, they've got a space for us, so we're going in there tomorrow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Probably going to spend at least a week there. Yeah, Maybe I'm, a bit longer. I'm going to spend one whole day of that week in the shower. <laughs> yeah. Long hot Hollywood showers. And, 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 and we can have a meal on the 29th because it'll be my birthday. <laughs> yeah, birthday girl here. So uh, this year's birthday is in Kushidasa. <laughs> So we'll be uh, getting the boat ready once the sun drops, it's really really hot today, once the sun drops below the horizon and things cool off a little bit we'll prep the boat so that everything's good to go and we'll set our alarms at 3 o'clock in the morning and uh, we'll head up there, it's a 7 hour run and uh, we're, we're, we're basically leaving at that time so that we get there at 10 o'clock in the morning before the it north starts. wind gets out of bed yeah. and starts blowing like this. Yeah. yeah. The, I mean, one of the good things is the closer we get to Kushidasa, the less effect that the effect Meltemi, the Meltemi has because it's kind on that of coast. Yeah, yeah, like where we are at the moment, it's sort of very close to the edge of the where the Meltemi is blowing, but Kushidasa is set in a little bit further, so. Hopefully, the, the closer we get, the easier it will get. So I'm just watching over here. There's a catamaran just dropped anchor next to us. Uh, we all just recently <laughs> had a, a, a power boat that dropped us. anchors in front of us, dragged <laughs> like crazy, and the guy was just like, "Oh, oh. what should I do?" I'm like, "Well, for a oh. start, bring your anchor in." So oh. he did. He brought his anchor, in, but he didn't turn his engine on. <laughs> so he's like. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Any hoozle. I'm just Rogan. watching this guy. I, even if he drags anchor, he's going to blow past us and yeah. head out to Greece. And I've been watching the one right in front of us, um, and he's not likely to drag because he hasn't dragged for the no, last hour no. or so. So. He's good. <laughs> okay. So set your alarms. Three yeah. o'clock. Three yeah. a.m. Yeah. On deck, please. Yeah. Coffee. 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 Just. <laughs> go. Three o'clock. Go. See ya. See ya. <laughs> In preparation for leaving at 3 a.m., uh, we've got to take into consideration where our anchor is in relation to the other boats that are anchored in the bay. And we've got one that's dead ahead of us. Um, so what we're going to do is, and she's now going to get in the water, she's going to try and follow our anchor chain and find out exactly where our anchor is for his boat. And we might need to say, hello. We're leaving at 3 o'clock. Um, can we do some manoeuvring now? Uh, we're quite happy to up anchor her if need be and re anchor so we're away from him um, rather than wake him up at three o'clock in the morning. Well, they're lovely people. Our anchor is right underneath their boat. He said he's happy to do whatever we want to do. So whether we ask him to move at three or whether we, you know, we relocate now. So I said probably now because at three it's dark. So he said, what do you want us to do? So I said, how much chain have you got out? He's got 50 metres of chain out, so he's now going to bring up 20 metres, which should give us enough access to our anchor. Once we have got our anchor up, he's going to let his 20 out, and he's quite settled that he's not going to drag. Then we're going to reposition ourselves right there in between both of those boats and pull back into in clean water. <laughs> Not sure how much this camera will pick up anything in this uh, low light situation. It's um, just before 3 a.m. Wednesday morning. Uh, the wind is now coming sort of out of the northeast, and uh, that is good because uh, <laughs> even though we moved ourselves to be uh, free and clear of having our anchor underneath one boat. Surprisingly, another boat came in after the fact and parked in front of us and we thought parked right over our anchor. Uh, now, with the wind blowing this way, uh, we should have a free and clear path to get the anchor up without disturbing anybody at this time of day. Um, wind is uh, unknown at this point. This is a localised wind that we're feeling right now, so we won't really know how the northern wind is, uh, is going to affect sea states until we put our, our nose out there and get around the corner. But yeah, we're all good to go. And she's just brought down the 
anchor ball with the flashing strobe on it. So once that's done, uh, next thing is to bring up the anchor. And head off. And of course, say goodbye to Didim for a while. about, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes out from Kushidasa Marina and the plan is, shush, the plan is we're going to go in and uh, pump out our black water first, fill up our fuel tank because this is the last stop for us going north this uh, particular trip, uh, then come out of the bay and uh, drop our dinghy alongside and then go back into the marina, radio the marineros and they'll leaders to our berth and the sisters getting tied up. That's the plan. We'll see how it goes. Been on the go now for four hours and 20 minutes, so we're well over the halfway mark to get to Kushidasa. Uh, we're just actually passing Samos, uh, well, coming up to the southern part of Samos where we, it's like, uh, that's between the Greek mainland and Samos, uh, if you're looking at it that way. And um, yeah, it was a bit of strong wind and waves as we were coming around the corner, but now here the wind's dropped significantly and there's absolutely no wave uh, to speak of. I'll just show you what it looks like on the chart. This is uh, mainland Turkey. This is uh, the southern coast of the Greek island of Samos. And I'll just zoom out a bit. Here is uh, Pythagoria where we stayed for quite some time and that the single AIS blip is uh, someone parked in the marina. So uh, we're coming through this channel and then we'll basically just head north up to Kushidasa. So it'll be interesting to see what the, the, the water state is, uh, what kind of waves we're going to get when we get to here uh, and what kind of wind we're going to get. Wind prediction website says we should get bugger all uh, at this time of the morning, expecting around about eight, eight knots of wind gusting up to 12 or 15. We'll see, eh? Greece? Turkey? About a stone's throw between them. On the starboard side as we head to the marina, uh, we can see a very conspicuous fort and a lighthouse. Probably going to go and explore that at some point. We've got our museum cards which will uh, get us in there. Also another big feature of Kushidasa area is the uh, cruise ship terminal. Uh, along here, big cruise ships, when they're in operation, uh, bring thousands of passengers here throughout the week. And um, yeah, that's what all that area is. But right now, cruising is a no-go. If we weren't sure where we were, we certainly are now. It's a nice big sign.
Kushidasa. Kushidasa. This is the furthest north we've been. So far? Mm. Yeah. In Turkey. Yeah, Marinero's here. Really helpful really, guys. Really, really helpful. Very friendly. Helpful. Great yeah. English. Yeah. Um, know what they're doing. Yeah, the guy at the diesel and the pump out was really helpful as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they made it happen. So all in all, a good first introduction to Kushidasa Marina, one of the yes. Setur chain. Yeah. Now, of course, you, uh, because we have a 12 month contract with Setur, we get to stay for free in this marina for 30 days. Yeah. Or any of the other Setur marinas. Yeah, for 30 days each. each and you don't place. have to do it in one block, you can do it over the, the contract. Yeah. So. So that's uh, one of the reasons why we're here. Yeah, so Another we're here reason is days. because uh, we want to check this place out. I didn't realise that this place was so big. No, no, the, the actual, well, the, town, the arena the, is quite spacious, isn't yeah. it? But the town seems to go on forever. Yeah. And we are really close to Ephesus. The ruins of Ephesus. The ruins of Ephesus. I heard about them when I was a little girl, so like, we're going. We're going. We're going to hire a car for that. That's another story for another day. Murray, you'll like that one. <laughs> right now, we're going to uh, put the boat to bed. Then we've got to go and take our paperwork to the office and say we're here, and they take copies of everything. Uh, they'll tell us about the toilets and about water and electricity. Mm -hmm. And uh, then it's time to just chill out because we've been on the go since half two this morning. Half oh, two. I, I mean, I, I didn't really sleep because I knew I had to be up, so I probably had an hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to chill. <laughs> All right, so we'll show you around yeah. very soon. Yeah.